Cups team, which competes in a national competition each year. The team is organised by Notts record goal scorer Les Brad and includes Arthur Mann, Ian McCulloch, Don Masson, Seamus McDonough. Les, now promotions manager, of course, at Notts County, but you still do enjoy a game of football. Um, yes, I've been working back at the club now um, on the commercial side for the past seven years. And um, around five years ago, I was asked to um, to organise a team that would um, would play charity matches um, locally, you know, putting some, uh, some fun and goodness back uh, into local football and trying to raise some money for some worthy causes. And the team consisted of ex Nottingham Forest and Notts County players, and um, we had a lot of fun. And then um, last year, we, we were invited in to play in the um, Umbro sponsored over 35s competition. And um, we, we played uh, in, in a local group with uh, five local teams, and we had a lot of fun. And um, at the end of it all, we had a big party at the Royal Hotel and really enjoyed ourselves. Um, this year it's got it's got even bigger. I believe that there are 80 teams um, now in the competition, 16 ex-professional teams, um, and we're having a lot of fun. We've come along here today and played um, some over 35 ex Arnold Town players who are a very good side. Um, previously they've played three matches and won three, and I think um, well we've won two 0 but we, we, I think we were a little bit lucky to win two 0 today. But yes, yeah, getting a lot of fun and enjoyment with it and. Of course, also, we're seeing the ex-players and we're getting together. We're, I mean, we're in the bar now having a drink after we're talking about old times, reliving old memories and uh, having a lot of fun. Do you still get the same kick out of it? Um, not so much now because the legs are <laughs> a little bit overweight and the legs have slowed down. And um, when you're playing against a really competitive team like we have today, it's very difficult. But, um, yes, I, I, I do get a lot of fun. Uh, you know, there's good banter on the pitch and um, really enjoy it. Let's talk about your memories with Notts County. Uh, of course, you're the record goal scorer for the club, and there must be plenty of goals that stand out in your memory. Yes, I'd, um, it's possibly the best part of my career. I played for 18 years, and 11 of, the, 11 of those years were at Notts County. And um, 135 goals in all, there's lots of uh, happy memories in there. But um, I think possibly the one that, that really sticks in my mind was when we played Wolves at Meadow Lane and I needed one one goal to beat Tony Hately's record and uh, I'd just come back from injury. I'd been out for uh, for two months and um, it was down at the Meadow Lane and then I just hit this ball through the Wolves defence and it finished in the back of the net and it did give me um, great satisfaction. Do you feel very proud to hold that record? How much does it mean to you? It means an awful lot to me. I mean, Notts County, the oldest football league club, so to be the record goal scorer of that club, obviously I'm very proud. Um, but I do hope, I, I mean, all records are there to be beaten and I'd love to see uh, one of the present day players um, going on a, a, and doing that because if that happens, Notts County are going to be very successful, in, successful and hopefully get back in the first division. Don, it's quite a while since you turned out for Notts County, but you still do enjoy, do enjoy a game. Yeah, it's fantastic. We had a uh, great game today and uh, I thought I enjoy it. You know, we, we play on a regular basis. Uh, it's nice to see all the other lads again, Leslie and Raymond, Arthur, fantastic, you know, and we, and we totally enjoy it. We put something back, people come to watch us and we put something back into the game, it's fantastic. It's not just a local thing though, is it, because there's also a Great Britain team as well. That's right, we'll, uh, David Watson, the old Notts County player, uh, England centre half, he's a manager and we play from Nottingham, uh, Artie Gemmell, John Robertson, Kenny Barnes, myself, we all play on a regular basis, and we play all over the country uh, for charity. We actually went to Portugal last year, played against Eusebio, Torres, then uh, their centenary, which was fantastic. You know. There must be quite a lot of friendly banter during these games when uh, probably the old legs don't get there when they should do. Well, the, the mind and the, the brain's willing, but the legs sometimes say, oh, no, 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 no. But uh, oh, it's good fun, you know, we still enjoy it. We wouldn't do it if we didn't enjoy it. 
Uh, your legs were certainly well in, and as, uh, as well as your brain when you did turn out for Notts County during those uh, glorious years, I think I should say. Mm. Um, one of uh, Notts County's uh, most influential and famous midfield players. But how much did you enjoy yourself at Meadow Lane? I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, I was, be I was uh, fortunate that uh, I had a great manager, Jimmy Sill, and we sort of grew up together. I was fortunate, along with Les Brad and other members of the, the team who were fortunate to uh, have Jimmy as a manager uh, from the fourth division. We grew up together and we took the team from the fourth division to the first division, which uh, is a unique experience, really, and I don't think it'll ever be achieved again. What sort of influence did Jimmy Cyril have on you personally? Oh, he, he was, I would say, he was the most influential man uh, in my football career. And then, say, and then Dave Sexton after him. But Jimmy was, I used to spend endless hours just talking football. And he wanted me to be a success. And I wanted, I always wanted to be, a, I always believed I was going to be an international player. Even when I was playing the fourth division, I believed in my, in my ability. And Jimmy was very instrumental in helping me achieve my ambitions. He must have been very proud of you, but so were the Notts County supporters. Well, that's a that's nice, nice thing to say. That's, you know, I, I appreciate it. What about fondest memories with Notts County? Many games have to stand out in yeah, your mind. I, I can't pick any one particular one. I, th I think the, the game at uh, Ipswich when we were in the first division, and uh, nobody gave us any chance. I think Ipswich was the top of the league at the time. We went down there, we were struggling at the bottom. And the goal of the season when Gordon Mayer finished a great move off and they didn't touch the ball. And uh, I think that was one of the most memorable games I ever played. And we absolutely tore them apart. We beat them about 3 1. So, Notts County rates <coughs> alongside your World Cup exploits as, uh, uh, as your most magical moment? I, the, uh, I enjoyed myself tremendously at Notts County. I, I think I was privileged to play and be part of a, a successful team and club and uh, I wish them all the best in the future. I think it was one that I've played all over the world and I can honestly say Notch County was one of the most friendliest clubs I ever played for. The people, I've got nothing but admiration uh, for the people, the supporters and everybody concerned with it. I think it was absolutely fantastic. Now, you had some very fond memories too of Notch County. Spent some very happy years there, very successful years as well, and uh, earned the nickname of the Cat. Can you throw some light on that? Yeah, well, that was uh, it was actually Ray O'Brien that uh, christened me with that name. It was one morning we were playing five sides, and I was in goals, and I was diving for everything and stopping everything, and it just uh, they just started to call me the Cat, and that was that. Peter so Benetti style saves. Yeah, yeah. So it stuck. It was only the five side goals, let me mind you, but um, it seemed to stick, and that was that. You know. You forged a, a very good partnership with Trevor Christie during the successful years. Um, just how good do you think that partnership was? Yeah, it, was it was very good. It was very enjoyable times. Um, as I said, it was just a pity that certain certain things happened in our last season. I mean, uh, in the last season, I think I only played about 20 games. Uh, with this injury or that injury, I, missed, I played the first two games, then I missed six games, and then I missed three months. And then I came back, and it wasn't until January time that I started playing again. So, uh, who's to say that if we'd we'd kept the partnership going for the pre season previously, which we'd done quite well, then hopefully Notts would have stayed in the first division.